to find the perpendicular distance of a point from a line, we need to find out the equation of the line that joins the point to the given line, and we know that it's perpendicular to it. So to find the equation of a line, we need to know its gradients, and the gradient of our perpendicular line will be perpendicular to the line that's given, and a point that it goes through, and we're given a point, and in our case it's the point 310. So the gradient of the line equals 2, so the perpendicular line has a gradient which is the negative reciprocal of that which is minus a half. We've got it going through the point 310, so the equation of the perpendicular line and the no what I'm used writing here isn't necessarily important it's just important that someone can follow what you're doing is going to be y minus the y value which is 10 equals the gradient which in this case is minus a half x minus the x value which is 3 so that's the equation of the um, black line in the diagram, and the blue line is y equals 2x plus 1. We want to find out where those two lines intersect with each other, so we're going to solve those equations. So instead of y, I can write 2x plus 1, so that's 2x plus 1, and then minus 10 equals minus a half x minus 3. Okay, so let's just tidy this up a bit. That's going to give me 2x minus 9 equals minus a half x minus 3. I'm going to multiply through by 2, so that's going to give me 4x minus 18 equals, I've got that minus 1 there, I might as well multiply out the brackets, that'll give me minus x and minus minus 3 is plus 3. So take the x to the other side is going to give me 5x, take the minus 18 to the other side is going to give me 21. So x equals, um, I'm going to go decimal here just to make it easier for people to follow, so that's going to give me 4.2. The corresponding y value I can get from substituting into either equation, I'm going to substitute into y equals 2x plus 1 to give me y equals, let's see, so 4.2 times 2 is 8.4 plus 1 is 9.4. So I've got this point here and I've got the point over here. So the distance required is going to equal the square root of the change in the x's which is 1.2 squared plus the change in the y's, which is 0 0.6 squared, which equals the square root of 1.8, which is going to give us 1.34 to two decimal places.